Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I am Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are continuing again with the Sims 4 Tiny Town of Occults Challenge. So this is Sabrina Spellcaster. She is currently outside the house that we built for her in the last episode. It is only a starter house, of course, we know that. Um, it is going to be built up a lot more, it's going to be changed a lot. I, the longer I look at this wallpaper, the longer I don't like it. So. We need to get into this, make a little bit of money, and fix up her house because I I really, really don't. I don't like the brick anymore. But we had Harvest Fest just uh, yesterday, and those gnomes gave her a bunch of these. And I was going to give them to Coral over here, but we've given Coral such a head start that I feel like we should be looking after ourselves instead. Look at that. 2,000 simoleons for all of those plants. That's absolutely incredible. We've got all of our stuff sitting over here. Um, some of it is charged and some of it is not. Charge remaining. That is not charged, but this is charged. And let's see, this is charged. Let's see if this guy's charged. This guy's charged too. What about this thing? Can this thing charge? Can earrings charge? I'm not sure they actually can. It wasn't doing anything. Uh, so that guy needs to charge. I'm actually going to leave that on there. Does it let me place it? It kind of does. So maybe it will charge. I'm going to leave those on there. It will be 7 o'clock here in a couple hours, and we will check to see if those earrings will charge or not. Uh, but then whenever that's all charged, we can, of course, sell it. She is unfortunately still living out of the few necessities that we've given her so far. The tree has finally grown, but no crystals are on it yet, so maybe tomorrow? I'm pretty sure it just sprouted up like a couple hours ago. Pretty sure it was today because I've been sitting here waiting for it. Actually, I've been waiting so long. I started up the game and I was like, you know what? I really don't want to start the episode until the crystal tree is almost grown because it takes so long. And so I was waiting and right before it grew, I got a notification that Stella was burning to death. So I freaked out. I paused my game. I considered it. I was like, okay, I've been playing for a couple hours, just like doing behind the scenes stuff, waiting for this tree to grow and getting her like witchy powers up and stuff. And I had to make a hard decision to close out my game and not save any of that progress that I made to save Stella. And I did that. We saved Stella and I went in and I cheated and made her immortal so we don't have to worry about it again because I didn't know what else to do to stop her from going outside and just killing herself basically. Uh, so yeah, she's immortal now so hopefully Stella will be okay. Uh, we are going to go ahead and clean up around here and wait for these to charge up a little bit and this time I think that I want to actually travel to sell our stuff. And I was thinking... Um, I don't know, maybe Brindleton Bay. And the reason I was thinking that is that I kind of want to get Sabrina a cat. What do you guys think? She's a cat lover and she's a spellcaster, aka witch. So she needs a cat, right? We have to get her a cat. I think that that is on the agenda for today. I'm going to go ahead and use some of that money that we just earned to craft up a few more things so we can make some more money. Uh, it's about to be 7 o'clock, so these guys are about to start charging. We do have three that are already charged, and it looks like they each have two days left on them. So, either tomorrow or the next day we will have to sell those, that way we don't have to recharge them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get her to craft as much of this stuff as possible. Um, and then we are going to throw that on the charging table and hopefully by tomorrow we'll have a whole bunch of charged stuff that we can take with us and sell. Alright, it looks like it is done finally. So we've got some more charged stuff. That is great. And oh! It looks like our amethyst, or amethyst, why do we always want to call crystals amethysts? I don't know why. Our crystal tree has grown, or blossomed, I guess. So cool. Looks like we have some new stuff. I'm a little bit afraid to put any of this in here, because every time I close the game and come back, stuff disappears out of these things. So, I don't know if that's a glitch, 
I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that we are doing like residential rental lot right now to separate everybody, but items seem to disappear a lot. So I'm a little uh, skeptical about just leaving them around. All right, so I'm going to make sure that I am. I'm going to go ahead and throw all this stuff back in here. And if we lose it, then we'll know for sure not to keep it in there, right? So let's go ahead and throw all this in there because I don't want to sell any of this stuff on accident or have it cluttering up my inventory. So let's go ahead and let's make sure she's good. Yep, okay, perfect. And we have all the stuff we need. Now let's go travel. Oh wait, no we don't. We don't have our selling table. Let's grab that guy. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and travel and go see if we can't find some customers with lots of money, hopefully, and maybe a cute cat too. All right, here we are in the beautiful Brindleton Bay where it is in fact also snowing. I tried to get her to set up her thing facing this way and she kept facing it this way. So <laughs> it's backwards, but we're leaving it. It's fine. You guys can still see what's on the table. It's just facing the wrong way. Uh, hopefully people will come here soon and hopefully, yeah, I see some people. Hopefully some cats will show up as well. We're getting more lag again. Can we like stop with that please? I don't know where all this lag keeps coming from. There's a cat! Uh, is that me or Whiskers? It is. What a cutie. Oh my gosh. I don't know which cat that I want yet. There's another cat. Hi. Oh my gosh. You're so... Tammy. What a funny name for a cat. <laughs> Tammy. Oh, it just sounds like a funny cat name. It sounds like a person name. <laughs> uh, where are you? Okay. Are you selling anything yet? Is anybody interested in buying anything? I really wish I could get this lag to stop. It's kind of driving me nuts. Oh, her and JC are friends. She's just chilling, having a good time. She knows Bernice. Her and Bernice were pretty close. Oh, look, the cat is coming to our yard sale. Are you going to come buy some crystals too? That is so cute. All right, I'm going to try to clear the wall post. Maybe that'll... Oh, it's not working. Can we stop all this lag, please? Oh gosh, it's terrible. Alright guys, please just buy my stuff. It would be great. I don't see... any more cats. I've only seen a couple cats. There's that one going that way. Oh, thank you, thank you. We might end up having to... Just, like, adopt a cat if... George! <laughs> George! That is such a cute cat name. <laughs> George! I love that. Um, oh, there's another cat over here. This lag is killing me, though. Leo! Oh, my gosh. These names are so freaking cute and funny, too. I love it. All right. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay here for a bit. And I'm going to try to sell my crystals and hopefully get rid of this lag that's kind of driving me nuts. Look at my new kitty that I got. Isn't he just the cutest? I love him so much. His name is Jinx. I adopted him. I love him so much. We are currently in the Salty Paws paws bar and there's tons of cats in here but jinx is officially our cat now i'm so happy uh we were talking to a bartender that was in here and i guess we've moved outside now so we are currently interacting with a really cute bartender and i kind of want to get her a boyfriend to be honest with you she's got a new kitty cut this kid she's gonna take home and she's got a new man she's gonna take home too hopefully uh as long as he's single can we ask him that Make sure that he's single. Make sure that he's interested in women. That is probably pretty important, too. He is single. Nice. So do you, like, have a girlfriend? Or... It's like, no. And I'm attracted to women. Oh. Good to know. You're straight. So, do you think I'm attractive? That's the next question. All right, well, I'm going to let these two get to know each other for a little while. I know I came here to sell my stuff. I made a little bit of money. Honestly, I wasn't able to sell most of it because nobody was interested in buying it. Everybody around here was just, like, 
very distracted by this bar and the cats. <laughs> so probably not a really good area. Johnny just became good friends. Johnny Zest is dressed up as a bear, and I don't know why. I have no idea what he's doing, but I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, well, she's hungry, actually, so I'm going to get her some food. We're going to go over to this bar, and we are going to continue... What? Marcel? Sure. I hate that Sims asked that. Like, shut up. Go make your own friends. Uh, can I make a pet drink? Oh, no. I can't order food from you at all? Like, no food? No bar food at all? Can I not get some chips, sir? I would really, really like some chips. That would cost money to do. Uh, wait. We can come in here and grab something, right? Just grab, um, grab, ooh, she can have anything from this. This refrigerator has more. Let's go have some peanut butter and jelly. That sounds delicious. Are we allowed in this room? I don't know if this door is locked or not, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to go break into the, the, the bar and sneak into their kitchen and steal a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of their fridge. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. She's hungry. Um, so that's... She's gonna do that. <laughs> and then uh, I think I'm gonna come back up here. And maybe we'll go to a different area to attempt to sell our stuff. Because this just doesn't seem to be it, honestly. Alright, I think this is maybe the way to go. <laughs> Perhaps. Stop people before they have the time of their lives on a Saturday night. Buy a couple crystals from me, please, please, please. Give you good luck on the rides. You know, I heard that Ferris wheel, a couple people fell out of it, you know, but, you know, these crystals, good luck, you know, maybe, maybe they give you that a little extra boost you need to not die at this <laughs> carnival. <laughs> please, please, I will say anything to get you to buy my crystals. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> I thought this was brilliant. I thought it was going to be a really good idea. Um, so I have been talking with Cliff and flirting with Cliff. He actually accept, 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 he accepted the flirt just a little bit and was like, okay, okay, I see you. And I was like, all right, I see you too. What do you think? And uh, so I think that we're, uh, we're uh, kind of we're, uh, kind, kind, kind close, you know? We haven't kissed or anything yet, but we didn't kiss Sergio either, I don't believe. Uh, we were flirting with him, and then, like, he started being a jerk. I didn't know what happened with Sergio, but, like, our romance goes down every single day, and he doesn't really come around anymore. So, I think Cliff is gonna be her new man, and I'm excited, because he's a freaking cutie. And he's a bartender? Oh my gosh. Free drinks? <laughs> Maybe. Ah, oh, thousand. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Janae. That was incredible. All right, guys. Need a little bit more money if you don't mind. Of all people, you will need these crystals the most, right? I mean, you are into magic and stuff like I am as well. You know how useful they are. One left. One left. One left. There's only one left. Oh. Thank you, guys. You are very helpful. Love you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go home and we are going to start doing our house. And we also need a few things for our new cat because he's going to be hungry. Okay, so we obviously know that we aren't really liking the way that the bricks look, or at least I don't. Um, I'm thinking we should probably do some sort of, like, paneled wood. So I want to do, like, a light color. Her color is supposed to be orange. I'm not focusing too hard on the color schemes, though, so she can just have, like, a few orange things if she wants, but... I am probably going to attempt to make her house like a little uh, magical feeling, you know, like a lot of whites, like marble and like gold and stuff. And so I want the outside to be a little bit tame. So let's see what kind of wallpaper we can find. I like the way that that looks. Um, I feel like 
This is more of an interior door though. So let's see if we can't find ourselves more of an outside door. I'm gonna be surprised if Realm of Magic didn't- oh wait, yes they do. I was gonna say if they didn't have like some sort of really- oh that blue is nice. Ooh the white. Okay, looks so far like we're going with one of the whites. White with a flower? Okay. Pretty. I actually really like that and it goes with like the designs on the windows and stuff. So that is perfect. Alright, what else do we want to do? I think that we should put some sort of like awning over this here. Because it is, I don't know, it's a little like flat here. So I feel like we're also going to adjust the pitch of the roof. Because I feel like I want to do like a whimsical, majestic sort of vibe for that, you know? Um, let's see, what kind of things do we have that I can use? Oh, well, look how pretty that is. And it almost perfectly fits. What if I put that on there? Oh, that's so good. Should I make it smaller? That's so pretty. I love it. Okay, um, we should definitely do like some flower boxes and stuff up against this as well. I'm not sure which ones we should do. We also have a bunch of this stuff. This stuff would be perfect. It doesn't look good right now because it's winter time, but I feel like a lot of these things around the house on the front would be really nice as well. So maybe let's just put like a couple going up like this and see what it looks like whenever whenever it warms up maybe I don't know okay um all right let's go ahead and try to adjust these roofs here because I want it to be a little more like that I would say Ooh, look at that okay so let's do that to this one as well and pull it up just a little bit Ooh, look how much better that looks already. That is good. Okay, should we change the foundation? Um, we can make like some sort of just regular stone foundation, or maybe we could go with a color. Blue? Should we do like a blue around there? No, maybe not. I think that stone looks pretty nice. Pretty good. Wow, look at the way it's looking so far. I feel like the roof definitely needs to be changed though. Maybe we'll go with, um, I was thinking of these, but I'm not really sure which color to do. We don't have orange, so we can't do orange. Wait, we actually do have orange. Ooh, but it's not that great. <laughs> uh, should we just do brown? I think that looks all right. And should we do a thicker thing out here? Nice. This is looking so much better. All right, we still have 5,000 simoleons as well, and we're only working on the outside so far. So let's go ahead and let's come in here and let's put some of this stuff away that we don't want to hold on to, or you know what I mean, whatever. Um, and let's figure out how we're going to do this. So this area here could be the kitchen or the living area. I guess you could walk into the kitchen and the living area be over here. Or you could just walk into the living area and the kitchen. But that makes more sense to me. But, uh, oh gosh, that scared me. Uh, I think that we are going to actually need a another thing here. So... Let's go ahead and let's move this roof and let's make an upstairs up here. That way she is able to have like a bedroom and stuff. That'll be great. Wow, look at that. Okay. And we can obviously like add more uh, magical windows and stuff up there as well. Did I do that? I really wanted a big window, but I didn't want to use the exact same window again. They don't have enough swatches to be able to change them. It could be that or just like a plain white. Those are their only white options. So 
I don't know. I'm kind of liking the idea of this. Maybe it's a little too much with these being the same down there. So maybe we can change those to that. And that doesn't look so bad. All right. Now we need to put this back up on that like that. Okay. And we can obviously break this up with something like if we have uh, some sort of... No, that's not big enough. Um, well, that works, but it is still a little bit in the way with this vine. But I suppose we could just do that. Now these lights are kind of useless. I actually am really liking the way this is turning out. Um, we can probably go inside now and figure out where we're going to put these stairs because that's going to be a huge problem if we can't figure that out so let's see if we had stairs off to the side here we could turn them like that is that enough room it is not all right there we go a staircase that will actually work great perfect lovely wonderful realm of magic staircase beautiful let's see what kind of interior stuff we can go with oh that is so nice i love the way that looks can we put that upstairs too oh it looks kind of weird up here because that's like continuing like that hmm that's okay i still like it we'll just ignore it um let's also figure out this floor situation so outside is this floor which i feel like should continue through at least the bottom part we'll put it up here as well but we'll probably change the top to something else um let's see what kind of fencing should we do for this there we go and we could probably add some like windows and stuff out on this side as well nice this room is gonna be super bright i guess this will be our bedroom it's gonna look so good all right i think that we should maybe also add on another little room right here to be our bathroom because we are gonna need a bathroom as well so let's go ahead and do that and then we will fix the roof back here make sure everything still looks good there we go, and now we have a bathroom here. So we can go ahead and throw a little door on that. All right, so here's how the outside looks for now. And on the inside, we have all the stuff that we already owned. I went ahead and I bought a cat bowl, litter box, a scratcher, a trash can. We lit up the place, we wallpapered the place. We've got stairs that are going up to the bedroom, which will be our bedroom eventually. Nice big windows. It is looking really nice so far. We have a toilet and a shower in our bathroom. We still need a sink and a kitchen and a living room and a proper bedroom. But this is a really, really, really good halfway point at least, right? So she only has $361 left. So unfortunately, we're not able to add any more furniture can't get her a bed or anything like that but she will be fine sleeping out there in her tent for now oh it looks like mr jinx is home is he gonna come in here and find all his stuff hopefully he is able to uh use his litter box down there and his scratcher and everything he ran straight for his bowl that makes me feel terrible <laughs> all right come in here no you need to come fill his bowl please why can't you get to his bowl is it because he's in the way? Is he... What's going on? Why can't you go inside? Is it actually this branch? I just saw this branch. It, that's going to be really annoying if you can't get inside because of the single branch that's right there. Like, what the heck? Let's just get rid of it. Let's see if she'll go in there now and fill it. All because of a branch being in the way. Well, <laughs> here you go, baby. Here's some foods. All right. I'm going to go back to sleep now since it's 3 a.m. and you woke me up for food. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. You can wake me up for food whenever you want. Just don't take advantage of that. Guys, <laughs> there's weird noises coming from this bush. Oh, 
Oh, a skunk. What are you doing in the bush? <laughs> what? I've never seen that in my life. Did you guys know that the cats can go into the bushes and get sprayed by skunks? He also apparently can get bitten by squirrels. Wow, he's uh, he's up to some mischief. He's cleaning himself now. He's like, ah, mischievous cat. Oh my gosh, I need to look at that. That was so cute. He had his little tongue out. Did you just see that? He's so cute. I can't stand it. He gave me a couple feathers, so that's pretty cool. I don't know. Open. Open a feather bind pets familiar. Yes, yes. We should do that. What does that do? <laughs> I would love to do that. Can you stop doing this for now? Because I actually want you to go do that. Because I want to see what happens. Let's go bind our cat as our familiar. Hi. You're now my familiar. <sighs> Yay. Oh, look at all the stuff that I'm finding. Open. Oh my gosh. Can I, like, save these things? Wow. Assemble into bird sculpture. You need 12 kinds of bird feathers. What? What? Have you guys ever heard of this? Jinx is a bit right. Quit it, Jinx. <laughs> Why does he keep doing that? I don't know, but cool. We've got all these feathers and stuff now. I actually want to keep them and see what we can do with them. Um, so I am going to invite over... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I am going to invite over... What was his name? Cliff. And I'm going to see if he wants to be her boyfriend. Because she needs a little bit of uh, social in her life. Let him know where she lives. Our house is finally decent enough to invite him over. He's going to be like, where is all your furniture? You have more furniture for your cat than you have for yourself. <laughs> Accurate. 79 in bills. That's not terrible. Not terrible. All right. Where's he at? There he be. Hello. Good to see you. Physical intimacy, first kiss. Let's see if he'll accept that. Jinx will not stop. <laughs> Hi. Oh. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Romance, physical intimacy, flirtation, exchange numbers. Was Hector, you were way behind. Hector. Hector was the guy that was being nice by turning around when we were showering naked. <laughs> Hector is not our friend, I wouldn't say. Aw, you guys are so cute. Declare love publicly. Flirt. Compliment appearance. I really, really want to ask him to be my boyfriend. He looks scared for a second. <laughs> Oh, man, it's Ask to be Boyfriend. Yay, she's going to have a boyfriend. Yay! Of course he said yes. Oh, my gosh. You guys are so cute. But I don't know why you're wearing that, because it is so cold out here right now. You should definitely change your outfit. How are you not freezing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, look at our little baby sitting on the porch. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, um, I was going to say, where's my bathroom? There it is. I need to use the bathroom, and she's really tired. I feel like we have plenty of crystals that we can cut and stuff. We've got a um, skull-shaped one that we're working on right now. So I'm going to let her craft up a whole bunch of stuff, I guess, as much as she can, anyways, with $37. And I guess attempt to sell it to make a little bit more money so we can finish off this house. I really, really love the way that it looks so far. I feel like it is a huge improvement from how it looked in the last episode. And the last episode I wasn't feeling it. I was like, ugh, did I finally make a tiny house that I hate? <laughs> nope. 
we fixed it. It was mostly just the wallpaper that was the problem. That well, that was very bad wallpaper, I guess. I just did, really didn't like it. Oh, we have a skull! Yay! And it's worth how much? 800! Woo! We can double that! Make 1,600 simoleons today. Can we put this on this and charge it? Do we have the time? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll see how much that actually changes the price. It's 810 now. And after it charges, we'll see how much it's worth then. And that should be interesting. I'm going to let her sleep, actually, because she hasn't slept very much. You can tell she's very tired. And then tomorrow we will attempt to sell some more of these crystals to get a little bit more money. And I don't know. Maybe we'll, like, go on a date with our new boyfriend or something. Social media career? No. <laughs> Do you know me? Do you know me at all? All right, we're in a predicament. Would you like to live together? <laughs> I think we should. It's very quick, but I feel like she really likes him. And I don't know. Their relationship grew quickly so, so fast. Like, I don't know. I feel like they should. Maybe she should just rush into things. <laughs> I'd love that. Okay. Uh, yes, please move in with us. No, you are not transferring any of that money. Wait, how much money did we actually have before? Oh, man. How much did we have? We didn't have that much money. $37. All right. So we will just change our amount back to that, I suppose. $37. There we go. Perfect. Now we have our boyfriend living with us. Oh, he's going to be so upset when he finds out that he has to sleep in a tent. <laughs> That's just the way the cookie crumbles when you live in my house. You gotta start from the bottom. Alright, I'm gonna let- what does she want? Order pizza. Of course she wants to order pizza. Who wouldn't want to order pizza? But right now, what you need to do is you need to- that will be charging tonight. We don't have enough money. Let's go ahead and just sell these feathers. Thank you, cat. But like, we need the money, honestly. Let's go ahead and a cut- a couple more gemstones. Let's do the most expensive ones that we can do. Let's see, what's the best one we have? Emerald and turquoise and rose. Oh, alabaster, 62. Let's do that one. And uh, I'll just make as much of this as I can with the money that we have. And hopefully we will be able to make a whole bunch of money tomorrow. What is happening in my tent that's making it to where I cannot go to bed? <laughs> Why? She's literally about to pass out. Who is in my tent doing that? Are you in there? No, it's not her boyfriend. Who's in my tent? Girl. <laughs> Can I go to sleep now? Woohoo with Glyph. Let's go woohoo with Glyph. That's the only way I can apparently get in there right now. So let's go do that. Can we just ask her to leave? Yes, please just leave. All right, I really want to go to bed. It's too sleep noisy to sleep in. There's nobody in there. What? All right, maybe if I come over here and be like, hey, you want to go lay down in the tent together with me? Maybe a lot of work. Maybe that'll work. All right, let's go. She's learned. I'm pretty sure she already knew his interests. There we go. Now they can go in the tent. Ah, that scared me half to death. <laughs> what? What is this trash? Oh my gosh. Is this charging now? Six hours until fully charged. We actually just made another one as well. So we got two skulls that we can charge there. And those should be worth a decent amount tomorrow. Um, try to tell a ghost story. 
Uh, the tents and the sim would like some privacy. <laughs> ah, not surprising. Um, can we just both go in there and relax? Is that like a thing? Are we able to just hang out in the tent? Can you not relax in the tent while your girlfriend? Okay, there we go. Let's relax in the tent. What we can do? What can we do in here? Tell a ghost story. Ooh, is that what she was doing by herself? Can I tell a ghost story? Oh, the kitty. Oh, that's so sad. That broke my heart. Why can't the cat come in the tent? Why does he have to sleep outside the tent? Let him in, please. All right, we're apparently not allowed to sleep, which is interesting. So um, instead, I guess they're just going to tell stories all night and hopefully that will stop doing that. I think it thinks that Sophia is still in the tent. <laughs> I don't know, but it's not letting her sleep for some reason, but hopefully it will let her soon. All right, for whatever reason, it still says that her tent is too noisy to sleep in. No matter what I do, it still says that. So I'm going to sell it. Ooh, 800. Okay. I'm just going to get her a bed. Like, I don't know what's going on with the tent. I don't know why it keeps doing that. And I don't appreciate random people coming into my house and jumping in my bed like that. So, uh, for $1,000, can we get a nice double bed up here? Oh, we can get a cheap double bed. Well, that could work, I suppose, right? And just get this air bed for now. Man, there is not a lot of room. I wish we could put this against the wall and the Sims would just, like, scooch over, but... They don't like to do that, do they? <laughs> um, put the bed right there, and I guess we will just see if they can get into it or not. Let's have her assign right side to Sabrina, assign left side to Cliff. Let's go see. Let's we'll see if she can get into that bed. This should be interesting. Who are you? Hugo? That's weird. A bunch of random people showing up in my house like that. You come upstairs and climb into bed, please. Okay. Oh, she scooted her booty over. Did you just see that? Is that new? Have Sims always done that? I actually really, really appreciated that. But does that mean when he's in bed first, she can't get in bed? Oh, Kitty's like, wake up, Mamu. I need some lovers. Oh, poor thing. All right, well, we at least have a bed now, which makes me a lot happier. Um, not turn off auto lights, all lights. Okay, I guess because the cat's in the room, the lights won't go off. That's unfortunate. <laughs> cat, go to sleep so I can turn off the lights and go to sleep too. All right. Well, I'm happy for them. I'm glad they've got a nice comfy bed and they're going to go to sleep now. And this cat oh, is you. so cute. Oh, he said, nope, no cat in the bed. Sorry. Aww. Aww, we're all going to sleep together. That's so cute. My gosh, I love them so much. They're just the cutest couple, I swear. Embrace. You guys are just so sweet. Their love is just like... <laughs> I was about to say their love is so pure like they never fight they get along so well and she came over here and whacked me with her purse where the heck did you even come from Agnes what what the heck just happened how I am so mad today I don't even know why just nothing seems to be going my way I hope you have something good to say, Sabrina, because I need someone to calm me down. Okay. <laughs> calm down. Try to be funny. That's a good one. Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> He's in a mood. Oh, baby. Okay. Um, well, we only have $20. I am kind of waiting for nighttime because I want to charge this thing because it's worth 500 but now these are worth 8 Wait, why are they with 500 again? <gasps> what just happened? Uh, did they lose their charge? They literally just said that they were... That one is. Okay. How could it be worth... Why is that one worth 800 and that one's worth 500? I'm very confused. Excellent. Normal. Okay. So the difference in the quality. 
Let's see about this one. 540 and it's normal. Okay, so this one's more expensive because the quality. I thought that it was more expensive because we charged it, but I guess not. So I'm actually going to go ahead and... Where is my selling table? I think it's down here. We are going to go ahead and throw these on here and see if we can't make a little bit more money. Um, I wonder if our new boyfriend will help us at all. He's not been helping anything. <laughs> He's not done anything. Has he been? No, he's not. He's not stole any plants. That's good, at least. Agnes is just chilling. She's like, I heard there is a fourth lot here. What you think? Heck no. <laughs> not gonna happen. We've already got a witch here. Sorry. All right, let's tend this table. No, not you. Not you. I'm sorry. You tend the table. Don't go talk to Agnes. I'm not interested. And then we will start a yard sale. Uh, I, for the record, am not using any money that, um, what's his name, Cliff potentially makes. He does not have a job, so he's not bringing any money. He's not, I'm not using him for any part of the challenge. So, I mean, like, you can tweak your rules if you want to anyways. But, like, if you want to get a romantic partner to help you out in the challenge, you do you. That's completely fine. But I don't want him helping me out at all. Uh, I just want to do it all myself. Oh my for me? Thank you. What was it? A bottle of milk and an egg. She's happy to offer Sabrina a favor for being a member of, member of the village community. Okay. <laughs> you hit me with your purse and then gave me a bunch of vegetables and stuff. I mean, that's cool. That's nice. Um, I'm actually going to bring these... What? We've been thinking about trying for a baby. Do you have a husband? Oh my gosh, you want to try for the baby? Yes. We would love for our bestie to have a baby. Let's go plant this stuff over here. We got a raspberry, a blueberry, a spicy mushroom, a lovely mushroom, and we got some milk and stuff. Let's go ahead and come over here and is there anybody? Oh crap, there is. Hold on. Okay, so this is the situation that we can actually help with. You come over here. And you plant these while she is selling her stuff. That is how this will work. Let's go ahead and sell these two things. Come on, guys. They're really cool skulls. Pretty expensive and everything. But they're expensive because they're pretty cool. Sayori, JC, and Mila. Uh, JC, you're my best friend. You're obligated to buy something. Just letting you know. <laughs> I would recommend probably um, this one, 1600 Oh my gosh. I would recommend this one right in the middle. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's great. And it's not even that expensive. Please. She bought one. Not the good one, though. But that's okay. We have a couple left if you guys want it. That shuffle. <laughs> I heard somebody shuffling. And I was like, who the heck is that? <laughs> Thank you. One left. Come on, you guys. Please, please. JC Colvin. Hey. Would you like a, a beautiful skull-shaped gemstone made of quartz? Would you like a quartz gemstone? What do you think? Paper towel. <laughs> Man. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to figure out where I live. <laughs> okay, let's come inside and let's grab us something to eat really quickly because you're starving. And let's see, we've got a little bit of money. So we are going to be able to decorate again. It looks like it's going to be some sort of holiday soon. Uh, it's looking like Winterfest, I assume. <laughs> 
Loud boy. That meow. All right, I'm going to let her eat and use the bathroom, and then I'll send her off to bed, and we will use this money to decorate a little bit more. Oh, no, he's already in bed. How am I going to get in bed? <laughs> Here, we're going to have to fix this problem, too. I felt too bad kicking them out of their bed last night, so I went ahead and just let them sleep through the night. I'm going to have her come down here, and she's going to do a couple of things, starting with, guess what? You got a cat, you're a witch. It didn't work. <laughs> My bad. Hold on. I tried again. Try it again. Ah, nice. No more cleaning the litter boxes. What? You broke the toilet. That's okay, because I can repair it with Repario. Nice. <laughs> okay, so now that she's done that, I'm going to let her take a shower, and I'm going to let her get herself something to eat, and we are going to fix up this house. So, kitchen, living room bedroom and I realized she can actually walk around this bed she just can't get in the bed over here so this might be in the way so if we push the bed over to the middle of the room a little bit more she should be able to walk around it um because I kind of actually like the way that this is placed like this this facing the door and we can't really change the stairs we might be able to change the stairs I don't know I'll see if I can figure something else out all right, it is Winterfest, and I have done as much as I can with the house, and they are having their grand breakfast together right now. So let's go ahead and take you through the house. So this is the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Let me go over here to the living area. So you walk in the living area, the front door right here, and you got a little seating area here. We're going to put our wand here if we ever get one. Cat stuff um, upstairs, of course. This through here is the little kitchen that we've got going. And this, of course, is our temporary bathroom. Uh, and then if you go up the stairs, then we have a small bedroom for now. And this is where she can obviously make her gemstones to make a little bit more money. But I think it is going to take a little bit longer for us to be able to be able to be finished with her house because uh, we have still a lot of furniture left to get and it seems like the realm of magic stuff is actually pretty expensive so it is probably going to take us a little bit longer to fully furnish her house but I'm going to go ahead and end this here because I'm sure it's been long enough we will have another part with Sabrina hopefully she will let me know in the comments if you guys want her to get married which we might go ahead and do i don't know i'm thinking about it but i mean they might as well they're already living together might as well get married too so we might have a little wedding and also we will uh finish our house in the next episode so i hope you guys stay tuned for that subscribe if you aren't already hit that thumbs up to let me know that you like the video and i will see you guys next time bye